nestled in North Yorkshire, stands the Church of Christ, the Consoler, adjacent to the majestic Newby Hall. But amid the tales of its past, there lies a mystery, captured in a single photograph by an American tourist. Upon his return to America, a developed image revealed an enigmatic figure, setting the stage for a story that bridges belief and skepticism. This is the tale of that unexpected discovery. In the picturesque landscape of North Yorkshire, where rolling hills meet ancient forests, lies the Church of Christ the Consoler in Skelton cum Newby. Designed by the renowned architect William Burgess, this late 19th century masterpiece stands as more than just a beacon of time. Commissioned by Lady Mary Viner, it serves as a heart-rending memorial to her son, Frederick Viner, whose life was tragically cut short by bandits in Greece. The church, constructed with the ransom money that was raised but never paid, is a testament to a mother's enduring love and grief. The estate's gardens, hailed among England's finest, showcase a medley of statues, a whimsical miniature railway, and a fragrant orchard drawing visitors from near and far. In 1963, the church gained notoriety due to a photograph taken by Kenneth Frank Lord, the vicar at the time. This image depicted what appeared to be a tall, cowled figure, often referred to as the newbie monk. Given its proportions, this supposed ghostly apparition would need to stand around nine feet tall, leading many to view the image with skepticism and dismiss it as a likely hoax. Fast forward to 1972, David Thompson, an American tourist, visited the church after spending time at Newby Hall. With camera in hand, he took several pictures. It was only upon his return to America and after having the photographs developed that one image particularly stood out. There, next to the church lectern, was a dark, transparent figure, arms akimbo, head missing. Remembering the church to have been empty during his visit, David was left deeply puzzled by this unexpected apparition. Decades passed and David's photograph lay forgotten until 2018, when it was rediscovered by his sister while sorting through his belongings. As she shared this discovery with David, then in a hospice battling cancer, he recounted the story behind the mysterious image. Interestingly, during this conversation, David never mentioned Lord's controversial photograph, suggesting he might not have been aware of it. He passed away in 2019, in his early 80s, leaving behind a tale shrouded in enigma. In 1972, the Church of Christ the Consoler was still an operational church filled with hymns and prayers. It wasn't until 1986 that it was vested to the Church's Conservation Trust, preserving its legacy for future generations. The Church and the Hall stand as timeless testaments to history, love, and mystery. While the past of these landmarks is well documented, certain enigmas, like the curious photographs taken years apart, remain. Whether skeptics or believers, the Church of Christ, the Consoler, and Newby Hall harbor secrets waiting for the right moment to be unveiled. <laughs>